So this competition is the DARPA Urban Challenge. It's a competition sponsored by DARPA, where they basically provide a, a prize for a team that can drive a vehicle autonomously through an urban environment. The prize happens to be $2 million. It's like has a belt, belt around the steering wheel and it can turn it. And it actually can turn it much faster than a human can do. Like if you see it spinning, it will at their slow, mm, too, really fast. So much faster than a human could do. UCF's been involved in, with the DARPA challenges for the last couple of years. Previously, it was a, a, a DARPA challenge where the car drove through the, drove through the desert, and now they've moved it to the urban environment. So it's basically a stretch of UCF's engineering um, talent. In the uh, urban environment, it's substantially more challenging. You have to be able to detect stop signs, other traffic. You have to be able to stop and wait for other traffic to go. You have to be able to dynamically route and decide where you're going to go. The rotating laser scanners on the front of the car can project a 3D point cloud and kind of simulate an inexpensive LIDAR, or laser radar. Um, what my vision system does on the car specifically is, is for road discoveries. So one real problem that we have is when they give us a sparsely populated waypoint cloud, that is we don't know exactly where the road goes, it starts here and goes there. Um, we have to figure out how to stay on the road. So what my vision system does is actually picks out features of the road, in this case, lane markings, and keeps the car in between the lane markings. And imagine a, a base about the size of the entire UCF campus. We have to drive all around it through all sorts of intersections, through traffic circles, through parking lots. The important thing is just to keep driving. So as, as long as we're making progress from one waypoint to the next, and they call them checkpoints in, in DARPA speak, you know, so as long as we go through all the checkpoints in order, DARPA doesn't really care how we get there. Our constraints are don't hit anything, obey the California state traffic laws, and um, complete the course in under six hours. So we've been testing this vehicle for more than a year, and we've been doing that all around UCF. Unfortunately, we've mostly been doing that at night when UCF's pretty vacant, and that gives us the ability to test the vehicle without having any chance of hurting anybody else. But we've tested it throughout the UCF campus, and as a matter of fact, throughout Research Park. We have five computers, and each of them is basically dedicated to a task. Like this one here, for example, does all the laser. It takes all the lasers information, extracts obstacles, extracts cars, things like that. And this computer here is the artificial intelligence. So it takes information from all the other computers and makes decisions. Like say, you know, go right and stop at the intersection and then go left, things like that. And it does path planning, you know, drive through a route that you have to drive to get to a destination point. So DARPA's incentive for doing this is actually to get a vehicle that will be able to navigate uh, military missions without putting men in danger. So there's the immediate practical application. The long-term application is the potential for actually driving your home vehicle autonomously, doing it through a smart highway system or maybe even through just any highway system.